One of my goals for the summer of 2020 is to install a micro hydro system using my creek here. Thanks for joining in. I'm Seth Johnson with Land a House. If you aren't subscribed yet, if you would click that button and be sure to ring the notification bell so you can get some updates. I'm here on top of my mountain, which has a nice sized creek running through it. And uh, from right here down to the house is about 210 to 15 feet of drop. Um, it's called head pressure. And uh, the flow rate is what we're here to test out today. Uh, it rained a little bit this past uh, weekend, so I'm expecting this to be a little higher than it would be in midsummer. I just want to get kind of uh, some year round tests of flow rate, and I'm going to try and use the same spot each time because it's pretty easy to access this little waterfall here. So let's set up the camera so you can watch, and I'm hoping to get somewhere around the 30 gallons a minute. So let's see what we got here. I want to see if simply putting a rock here would uh, move this water over enough that I can have a steady stream. Okay, so that's most of it. Okay, I think this will be good enough to uh, get most of the creek here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my stopwatch and see how long it takes to fill this bucket. Twelve seconds on that one. Let's go one more here. I think it's pretty safe to say it's 12 seconds to fill five gallons. All right, I've got my calculator here. If I say five gallons divided by 12 seconds, that's 0.42, and I say time 60 seconds, it's roughly 25 gallons per minute. So I actually ran this test uh, last week with uh, some pretty good snow, and we had a lot of rain, and uh, I was getting uh, the bucket filled in 10 seconds, which is a half gallon a minute, or 30 gallon, no, half gallon a second, 30 gallons per minute. Uh, so, from my understanding, let's say the my maximum uh, water flow here is 30 gallons per minute. Uh, my, uh, with efficiency loss, I can do about uh, 500 to 600 watts with 30 gallons a minute in a two inch pin stock, dropping down the, uh, let's say 200 uh, feet of head pressure in that uh, 1,000 foot distance here. Uh, so the friction loss in a two inch pipe with 30 gallons is minimal, like 4% uh, or less. Uh, so I should be able to capture this water and have its basically full potential uh, in that two inch pipe. So. Uh, I'm going to come back up here again sometime in the next uh, two or so weeks and just continue to test this flow rate. I may go ahead and store my little rocks here off to the side so I can do the same thing later and capture more of a steady stream. Okay, that's all for now. Uh, the main thing I want to do is see how the water slows down especially in the summertime uh, or early spring. Uh, I kind of anticipate that this creek drops down to about 10 gallons a minute 
in uh, the middle of summer, uh, which is still gonna be at least 200 watts of power made consistently. All of this is just very early testing to see how well this is gonna work, but I like the idea of having my intake uh, filter at this rock. Basically, I could uh, set a board across this whole length here, anchor it into the sides, and have my screen capture the water as it flows over there. Um, that way, it's already naturally falling, and my pipe could just start right there and head on down. Now, there may be other places down here that I could capture water from, uh, but they don't look as nice. So, like, there's a little waterfall there, but there's lots of spillover on the sides. Uh, so, anyway, your thoughts on placement for intake. Uh, but I like that big rock back there. Should be pretty simple to pull from. So, the thought is, if I can go ahead and get this turbine installed, I would use a grid tie limiter inverter and that would essentially allow me to put the 200 watts up to 600 watts into the house as we use it. Uh, so kind of on demand basically. And that would supplement our usage. The calculator that I was looking at said up to uh, $48 a month based on our uh, cost of electricity, which is uh, 11 cents per kilowatt hour. I could bring my intake down about 30 or 40 feet to this point right here. Uh, the problem with going any further down is that the creek splits off. Half of it over, is over here and half goes over there. Um, so I either have to alter the creek here, which I really don't think would be very effective, or um, I don't know. So I'm thinking that if I just move up top there, I will have easy access to a nice little waterfall and have plenty of water to make some usable power um, within a thousand feet of uh, penstock. From everything I have heard, it's difficult to haul around two inch poly pipe. Uh, so I actually have a four-wheeler trail I can access to get up here all the way up until this point right here. So the last, gosh, I'm going to say 200 feet, I will have to uh, really drag that pipe by hand. But uh, as far as getting it up to this point, shouldn't be too difficult because of this old four-wheeler path here. Now, there are places that I could possibly gain water over here and I think the creek actually is uh, picking up its volume of water as it goes down here but the problem is we are dropping elevation pretty quick so uh, I don't know I'm guessing there's an extra 20 feet of head pressure from where I'm standing up to that uh, compared to down here but uh, it may be worth looking into getting the uh basically the intake would be closer to the house so i'd have to have less uh wire to get to the house so i don't know of any good place to test the flow rate down here there is another idea that i had if i put my intake up there at that really nice rock then i could uh, bring that down to a 55 gallon drum or barrel and pull uh, my actual two inch pipe from that. So I could, you know, maybe use a couple of one and a quarter or one inch pipes to pull water from that rock down to my barrel. And I could actually bring the source uh, down closer to the four wheeler path, which would really save a lot of hassle uh, having to pull up into the woods. I could even put that uh, barrel up on some blocks, maybe like, I don't know, five, ten feet off the uh, ground. And that way I'm still saving that head pressure and yet uh, having the uh, source at least 30 feet closer to my four-wheeler trail and to the house. So it's probably what I'm going to do. Um, 
and I think I actually have an extra barrel up here at the house that I can uh, incorporate into that design. But, uh, and also, if you've been a fan of the channel for a little while, I attempted to make a little uh, stand for shooting a crossbow. And uh, those four by fours are still up here sitting in the ground. So I would probably yank those out. They're right here. And I would move those up there and make a little stand for that barrel to sit on. So if you stuck a barrel on the top of that, uh, it'd be really good to have that extra uh, drop. But anyway, okay. Thank you for watching this water portion of the video. I tried to film a Christmas video and uh, it just didn't turn out like I was hoping. And then the whole family got sick. I'm sick, the kids have been throwing up. Uh, Ashley's not felt too great. Uh, she's the least sick of all of us. But, uh, so here are a couple of little clips from our uh, Christmas time. Are you ready to see what he did at the Christmas tree? Oh, oh, oh my goodness, do you see what I see? Oh, did this one Santa left you? This big present and this? What is this? Scooby. Oh my goodness, it's Scooby Doo. Do you love it? It's a big Scooby Doo. Wow, Scooby Doo. And, and look at this. He has his own bow. He left this. He left it for Emma? Uh -huh. Is Emma wanting to open the rest of her present? Do you want to open the big one from Santa first? Uh -huh. Okay, that one then? Do you help? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, this one. You're going to rip it like right here? Uh-huh. Oh, that is what could it be, Dad? What could it be? Oh, 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 what could it be? A toy? What could it be? What be? It could be a toy train. It's a toy train? Wow. Oh, oh my goodness, is it a toy train? Yeah. It was. <laughs> He's like, it's way easier. These are already open over here. Rip it off. Oh, wow, brother. You bought some nasty fire hooks. Cause yours is nasty. Yeah. It was still fun. The kids really enjoyed the stuff that we got them this year. All right, uh, this is just a very early preliminary testing phase for the Micro Hydro. Uh, there's gonna be a whole series on this in the summer, um, but I do want your input for this early on stuff if you've got some good thoughts. Thanks for watching this vlog, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bonus video, there's a small tree branch that fell down into the road down here, and so I'm gonna drive the four-wheeler and uh, get that uh, cleaned up real quick. Man, the kids are sick. They haven't held anything down uh, in like 24 hours. So uh, we're just kind of hanging out at the house, waiting for that to pass. Uh, we just got word from a few people in town that uh, this thing is spreading. So we're probably next.
think that dog's name is Backo. I forget. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I can probably move that. There's one. Here we go, that should do it. I know you're jealous of my orange shirt and red shorts. <laughs> so hopefully sometime this month of January, I'm gonna meet up with the Stony Ridge farmer, Josh, and uh, we're gonna be installing a ram pump. So uh, just a little tidbit of coolness for you to expect in the future. All right, thanks for watching.